This video is on the solar install on my Coachman 17B LSE. Solar panels up on the roof. I'll show you a better picture of that. And then the solar controller in this compartment right here. So let's get up on the roof and take a look and I'll show you what I have. Here is the solar panel set up on my roof, running two rich solar 200 watt 24 volt panels. They're hooked in series, running a 15 amp fuse. And I also ran a wire between the two panels in case uh, something should happen, they come off, the wire will catch them so they don't go flying down the road. For the inverter and solar controller, I'm using the MPP2424. You can see right now the batteries are at 25 and a half volts. Um, I've seen as high as over 300 watts when it is charging and under load. The blue and white wire come from the solar panels, have a 150 amp circuit breaker on off switch I have a shore plug in here and then a receptacle for the 120 coming out and that runs into the trailer to power the trailer My trailer was pre-wired for solar and basically it just has the connection up on the roof and a wire running down and just in case you ever have to figure it out like I did, the blue wire is the hot and the white wire is the negative. The inverter produces 2400 watts which is plenty enough power to run the television set refrigerator and even the microwave at the same time the only thing I can't run is the AC it doesn't make enough power to run that because I'm running 24 volts I needed to put in a step down converter to 12 volts which I hooked into the fuse panel positive hooks in behind here and the negative in behind here. I also uh, just turned the converter off so I'm not trying to charge the batteries with that. I'm running two lead acid batteries hooked in series for 24 volts. I run a battery equalizer between the two. The only thing that the step down converter does not take 24 volts down to 12 volts is the tongue jack. I'll have to get a separate one to do that because it's wired in before the unit. But I kind of like it this way because it's extremely fast. So I might just leave it since it doesn't run all the time and see if it burns up or not. So there's a quick overview of the solar install on my Coachman 17 BLSE. This is my first time doing anything with solar, so it was a learning experience. So we're all ready to go camping. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.